Hey Crows fans, uh, welcome to my place. Obviously the day of a big game against the Cats tonight, Friday night footy. Um, great stage, great opportunity for us. Um, it's about lunchtime, so pretty had a pretty relaxed, pretty casual morning, watch a bit of basketball. Um, I'm going to get something for lunch and then I'll grab AJ the Husky and we'll head down to the dog park. Half past 12, about lunchtime. Um, we don't have any strict timing with what I eat, but it's important to get plenty of fuel in before the game. Um, so, you know, just going to knock off some, some of last night's pasta, um, spaghetti bolognese, and then probably in about three hours' time I'll, I'll make up a sandwich. All right, guys, here we are at the dog park. Um, love coming down here with AJ. Uh, it's good for me to just get out and get some fresh air, especially on a nice day like this. Stretch your legs. Um, obviously gives him a bit of a run and um, somewhere I can just relax and, and uh, not think about the game too much, just relax, fill in a bit of time. And so I've had AJ for about two years. Um, He's just over two year old. You know, I'd like to uh, refresh my memory. We've obviously done plenty of planning and meetings and, and looking forward at Geelong um, already this week, but you know, it's a great refresher just to go and have a look back at some vision, look at your own tape, see what you've done well, see what you can improve on, it, and also see what you know, potentially my opponents, defenders are going to do. Three hours, or just under now. Um, until the game kicks off, so I'd like to get there about two hours before the game. It's it's pretty flexible. Some guys, um, you know, I know Lynchy and Rick Anderson, they're pretty relaxed. They like to get to the ground as late as possible. We don't get a whole a whole heap of opportunities to showcase you know, our games in front of everyone, and that's that's the great thing about Friday nights is pretty much the AFL world and all its fans are watching. Everyone's tuned in at home. You know, even you know local footballers are all sitting back. Um, getting ready for their own, own footy matches tomorrow. So it's great that, uh, you know, f from my point of view, a lot of my family and friends back home, you know, they'll all get to watch, uh, watch the game. I right, finally made it. Um, took a while, but we finally got to the ground. Um, so let's get stuck into it. Hopefully we can get the four points. You know, I like to generally get out in the field and get a feel for the conditions, have a couple of shots at goal at both ends, and just wait, wait for the game to come around. We don't really have much of a meeting. Pikey will just have, give us a Couple of words, a um, couple of words of encouragement, but everything's been done. It's been two minds there, hesitated, and that's Eddie Mann. In from the side, a big mark by Jenkins. Jenkins, well, he had the handball on, but he didn't need it. He's kicked his second goal for the quarter. It was a big night, wasn't it, for that man there. A huge build up in this city. And look at that scoreboard, it does tell a tale. All right, guys. Uh, done uh, ice bars recovery, not the result we wanted tonight, we were obviously hoping for a, for a win. Um, fantastic crowd, you know, I think it was a record, 53,000 or so, um, but you know, bitterly disappointed that we couldn't get the victory. Thought we uh, had planned and prepared and, and got ourselves ready for, to perform better than that, so disappointing, but on to recovery, uh, ice bars are done, go home, try and get a rest and then uh, get up and head to the beach in the morning, so thanks for spending the day with me guys.